when men don't hold back against woke people. Like the video, subscribe, stay on the path of progress. Let's get into it. Ask a person the gender of their pet, and then ask them how they can tell. Girl. It's a category. How do you know? Oh no, bro. <laughs> because of her art. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we got him. <laughs> what a legend. She had ovaries. What? You're telling me there's biology? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All of a sudden, biology exists. Huh. Also, have you guys noticed? Once you, uh, once you neuter a cat, you know, it doesn't turn him into a female cat. You guys notice that? Hmm. Interesting. Imagine thinking that a man is gonna make you happy. <laughs> Get them gains, bro. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm just telling you this as a friend. I know this is a bit, I know it's a gimmick, and I know you're trolling, but how long do you think you can do this for, dude? Well, it's not a bit for me. It may have been a bit for you, mm -hmm. um, but for me, it's how I feel. Um, Josh, you're lying! You know, what did your parents say about this? Are you close with them? Mm. There we go, CSI. I'm close with some family members, yeah. Do you not feel any sort of you know, guilt to them. I'm just living my authentic truth. Um, and come this on, is Josh, show me too. Quit playing with me. I'm the pimp on a blimp, Josh. This is a gimmick. This is like professional wrestling. Sorry, I'm not trying to yell at a beautiful lady like you, but what is the end game for this? Are you trying to get on Bud Light sponsorship? I mean, what is your goal with all of this? Well, I'm just living my authentic truth. Um, so, you know, your journey's your journey, my journey's my journey. Um, and people are allowed to think what they want about my journey. Um, many people are very vocal about it, but I'm just gonna keep being me. This guy on the top, there's a lot of suspicion that he is just faking everything. Like he's one of these, uh, you know, these uh, pride creators, but he's not actually full of pride. He's just faking all of it for the views and attention. And I've used some of his clips before, and I've seen you guys at the comments saying like yeah it's all fake it's all a joke but i really don't know and i don't care do you think peers is so offensive well i think the way that peers talks about non-binary people is that you mock them you make fun of them you use them as entertainment you use the lives of real people in this country a vulnerable minority as something to make fun of and get a reaction well, well, be, specific, example, be specific well when you claim that you're a two-spirit penguin yeah you know why i did that if literally you can now identify in a hundred different ways your gender including two-spirit person mm. and all this other stuff then i am entitled to identify as a two-spirit penguin and what's interesting is you want me to respect all those hundred genders, however yeah, ludicrous some of them are, but you have zero respect for my right to identify myself in any way I see fit. So in other words, it's one no. rule for you. You say everyone's entitled to say they can be whatever they want. But the moment I decide that I want no, to be a two-spirit penguin, you go absolutely nuts and no, want to control not how, how I self-identify. That's not that how it is works. the point I'm making. Say... Kamala. Kamala. My five-year-old can say Kamala. Why can't people pronounce it correctly? You guys cannot be, well, maybe are dumber than a five-year-old. Whatever. Just poor kids, man. Poor kids. Damn. Damn. Just what does that look like in 20 to 30 years? What kind of adult human being does that create? I genuinely feel bad for them, man. That is super rough next guest who is shivani dave uh she is a journalist and a presenter at virgin radio just just down the corridor uh, good afternoon to you shivani good afternoon julia thanks. you know my pronouns are they them how are you doing yeah um thank you for telling me your pronouns i use correct grammar so the only the only thing i would need to refer you to is very, to your face would be you but I'm not being rude. You can choose your pronouns. You can choose what you want to call yourself, but you don't have a, you don't get to require me to use incorrect grammar and factually incorrect things. You're not a plural. You're a, you're a, you're a one person, and you're a, you're a female person. So I will use she and her. Thank you very much. Do what you like, I guess. Well, there you are. You didn't need to tell me then, did you? Maybe I'm just making sure people know in case they're watching and they want to refer to me respectfully. Is it disrespectful for me to use correct factual grammar? It's not incorrect or unfactual grammar to use singular they them pronouns for an individual. 
But we're here to talk about the cast review. Yeah, but but you but you chose but you chose to bring it up. You chose to use the incorrect pronouns for me. I I'll chose to use the correct pronouns for a single woman who is appearing on my show. I'm not a single woman, though. I'm a very special non-binary trans person, as you just pointed out. I, I didn't really just point that out. The crowd. I didn't just point that out. I introduced you as a journalist and a virgin radio presenter. No, just before I came on, you were talking about how people with all these labels like mm. to be special. And I'm just making sure that everyone knows I'm special. OK, I'm not special. I'm just a boring old heterosexual married woman. But, you know, sorry about that. We're not allowed to do that anymore. In fact, that probably does make me special now. I don't know. Anyway, Shivani, we're colleagues. And I, I want like to obviously, obviously want to treat respect. But again, for me, respect goes, but works both ways. And that also requires people on both sides to be respectful of people's willingness to not want to tell lies or to be dishonest to themselves. So we'll have to respect each other's views on this. I've never heard of this show before, but this lady is awesome. I didn't know they allowed people like this on legacy media. I thought it was all woke, but cool. I know, I know that like, we care an awful lot about children here. Uh, so, uh, yes. Oh, is, that, is that say don't mess with trans kids? Indeed it does. It's a great shirt. Um, Wait, so you think it's okay for a 14 year old to be able to have their pee chopped off? No, I don't. Also, that's not how gender reassignment surgery goes. Well, and yes, it, y yes, it does actually. You don't cut it off. It's significantly more complicated. If you want to look it up, you can look it up. They flip it inside out. It's a lot more complicated. Oh, they flip it inside out. They don't actually chop it off. It's a medical marvel, I, I, folks. I, 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 stand, I stand corrected. You're okay with 14 year olds having that happen? I already said no. Okay, so, sh so we can agree that we should not have gender reassignment surgery for trans kids. No. Can I get to my question, please? No, I have a question. Why? Can, can we agree that, that it should be illegal for someone to have gender reassignment care or surgery if they're 14 years old. For the third time, no. We should not have that. Or wait. Hold on. At 14 years old? I'm yes. not a doctor, man. But no, it's, it's, a, it's a very simple moral question. Shouldn't we agree as society that 14 year olds should not be able to go under the knife for a phase that they might be in? Probably not. Ask a doctor. I'm, I'm glad we almost have agreement. I saw one good thing Biden's done. I saw an article this morning. They said that he's reduced obesity in this country. Mmm. That's awesome. How, how did he do that? No one can afford food. <laughs> So I'm traveling the world right now. I'm in Japan. I was in Scotland, mainland of Europe in the Balkans. And in the Balkans specifically, inflation has definitely hit them. Like you'll talk to the locals and they'll say the prices have increased. But from an American's point of view, everything is quite affordable and reasonable because we would go to the grocery store and a farmer's market, get everything we need for the week, like high quality, top tier, organic food, like really, really good food. And on average, you're spending about 80 to $100 on food per week. Doing that exact same thing in the US is going to honestly, it's going to be like double, probably 60% to 100% more. And this is with us not holding back at all, buying whatever we wanted. That's another thing you guys should really take into account when you are looking to move to another country. Don't just look at the women, bro, okay? You're wanting to upgrade your entire lifestyle, all right? I talk about the women a lot, obviously, on this channel, but there are so many different factors in picking which country you should go to. The lifestyle, what are the expenses? What are the monthly costs? What kind of politics do they have there? What are the locals like? There are so, so many different aspects to it. So be sure to take all of them into account if you plan on traveling a lot. So I got served today at the pharmacy and uh, I'm not saying men can't look like this because please go off kings, but like, I'm not doing damage to masculinity. I think y'all are when you serve me, when you call me a man, right? Like, I'm not a man. Don't consider me for the pool of men. And maybe the people who are like, oh, masculinity is in decline. Well, stop thinking I'm doing anything with it. I'm not part of that equation. Count me out. Did you guys just see that? Bro, have I lost it? Is this real life, bro? What was that? This is my personal descent into madness and I'm recording it on YouTube so the entire world can see, all right? Just know that the second I started this whole woke people series, that's when it started. Just one step into madness at a time. That's what happened. I reject that. That's no, no. You have been rejected. Did you know that queer and trans people actually experience time completely differently to cishet people? It's a concept called queer temporality and it basically has to do with the fact that historically as queer and trans people our lives have started much later and for a whole bunch of reasons <laughs> ended earlier than our cishet counterparts. So as a result our experience of time is compressed. 
It also oh has to do with the God, fact bro. that those milestones that we've been socialized to use to mark the passage of time, so things like marriage or having a children or, you know, working, retiring, inheritance, things like that, haven't been accessible to us. Yesterday I was supposed to hang out with this guy, but it was getting kind of late, so I texted him and I was like, hey, it's kind of late, like maybe we should just like rain check. Okay, rain check, no big deal, right? And he responded saying, okay, sounds good. Sounds good, but I'm sure this is not the end of the story. Excuse me? And here what? it comes. And I was like, what, LOL? And he's like, you propose to reschedule, like it's a bit late for you, said I was like respecting your boundaries and like, yeah, we can meet up another time. Wonderful, a guy is respecting her boundaries, but there's more. And I was like, you think you're funny? You're supposed to respond saying, no, I need to see you. I'm outside. Your doorman's blocking the door. Like, what? Oh, I get it now. There's games apparently to be played. And one seems upset that the guy is not playing along. He was like, wait, why are you mad that I was just like listening and like respecting what you wanted? And I was like, exactly, exactly. Exactly what? Respecting boundaries is apparently a bad thing now. I'm beginning to believe that some women are single-handedly trying to convince the entire male population that in fact they are better off single. Because if you want to play games, ladies, play by yourself. So this kind of woman is obsessed with a fantasy. She's obsessed with something that basically isn't real. If you aren't doing what she is seeing in those romantic comedies, in those hot and spicy books, then the relationship isn't gonna work. They're caught up in a delusion world. Does this stuff exist? Yeah sometimes but is it an experience that most people are going to have probably not most people are pretty normal and pretty average i've been railed by 300 people in six months 300 if you don't know my goal for this year was 365 people in 365 days and i have done 300 in six months your girl has also been railed in 11 different countries this year which is also wild so technically i can make the 600 i was gonna do 600 in 2025 but I think we can do it this year. So we are a little bit behind because it's actually mid-June right now, but I've got it. I've got it in me. It's all good. You just wait. I'm going to do 600 this year. The speed run, the speed run to ruin your life. That's what it is. Yikes. I know people get triggered when I say this and I know we're in Idaho, which is a conservative state, but this sign is incorrect because feminine is an incorrect term. It's about gender expression, not even about biology or Where's parts. Idaho? This should say menstrual. Yikes. Get him out of Idaho, dude. Get him out of my home state. I lived in Boise for a little while. For, and for those of you that don't know, that's the capital. And I just noticed it was changing, man more and more Californians were invading, more people from Washington. Started seeing all this wokeness just run rampant in the downtown area. It's just a yikes, bro, because even in the conservative states, the big cities are still seeing a lot of this stuff. So that's why even if you are in a red state, if you're in one of the bigger cities, like say in Dallas or Austin or something like that too, all of this wokeness is everywhere and i really noticed a big change after the 2020 event tons of people just flooded into idaho and they brought all of their ideology with them get ready with me to go to my grandma funeral this is pretty it's like ellen DeGeneres. and like she actually died the day after my birthday and now i feel like every time i'm, not, I'm not i'm never gonna be able to celebrate my birthday because i'm always gonna remember that she died the day after and i didn't even celebrate in my birthday we were gonna go to raging water the day after oh, i'm done with you i'm done i was born gay i was born trans i was born in the wrong body and i'm living my life and i am becoming who i am and i'm living my life. just because you're saying something loudly doesn't mean you're correct and i want that to just sit in the air for a second okay that's why I'm just going to pause for just a second. Let it settle nice into your brain, all right? Just because you're loud doesn't mean you're correct. What I decide to do with my body, I don't care about your goddamn religion. I'm so tired of having nonstop conversations about what the Bible says. You live your life in the way that you interpret the Bible. Again, I don't care, but you don't get to take the Bible and tell me, well, the Bible says this in this chapter and this verse, I don't. Hi, my name is Tempest. And if you don't want me to step on your toes, move your feet. Damn. Yes, that that's was quite profound.
Yo, I'm sorry to pause, but that was the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Whoa, dude. I'm losing it over here. Whoa. Maybe it's, maybe this is just a phase. Hope it's a phase. And Quincy says it's not a phase. Okay. Will you think about it? Yes. Three years later, I am standing in the surgeon's office. Because Quincy cannot wait until they're 25. They are now 22, and the binders that have been pressing their breasts down are not working, they're starting to hurt, and they're gonna get top surgery. And as we're going through the obligatory paperwork, it says, you know that this is elective surgery, right? And Quincy slams the pen down and says, no, it's not, mom, 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 mom. This is not elective surgery. Just shake these tits off of me. And in that moment, I could feel the imprisonment of my child in the body that I gave them. And I'm thinking, oh, great. And I'm cramming you into a little blue dress, and I'm saying she and her and she and her, and I'm the f warden of your prison. And I didn't know it. Quince, we cannot... We cannot argue with the insurance companies right now. If you want to get the surgery, honey, you got to sign that paperwork. Check the box. So they do. Enablers. Enabling this kind of behavior. That's what it is. Can almost guarantee you the father's not in the picture. And if he is, and if he is, he's turbo soy. A good, strong, masculine leader of a man would not allow mindsets like this within his family. Just wow, bro. What's your definition of a high value woman? You're independent. Do you know what I mean? Like you don't need to depend on someone else. And you value yourself. You don't let a guy tell you, what's the word? Like you don't let a guy tell you, do you know what I'm trying to say? No. Uh... There's been a lot of delusion in this episode, okay? So let's actually learn something, all right? Let's break that down. What do women mean when they say, I want to be independent? To be independent, that means you have to have been dependent on something else. So independent from what? Independent of what? And the answer is men. They want to be independent of men. So this entire boss babe empowerment narrative is to separate women from men. That's the core of it. She wants to stand on her own two feet instead of standing in line with the family behind. You want to be independent? Okay, go for it. Have fun with the elgatos. Have fun with the nekochans. The child in, is inside the mother's body and the mother needs to have the right to choose Got whether so, she wants to go through what, what does, why does the location of the being matter to its moral worth? We're not going to get anywhere if, you, if, we, if we can't agree on when the being comes into existence. You believe that the child is born when it's conceived. I believe a child is born when it's born, when it lives experiences. That is a, that is a, that is a... Lives experiences. Wait a second. When my baby was 26 weeks old, it would kick in familiarity to my voice, listen to music. So experiences, I mean, and why would you draw that line? Why not at the creation of the, de the deoxyribonucleic acid, the DNA, when the new being's process into full and complete adult human development begins? I, I wouldn't like to say that you got me dumbfounded. Men get pregnant. Oh, I am. You're pregnant? Mm -hmm. You are? Yeah. How about oh, a yeah. congratulations? Uh, Instead of laughing at me, you could say, like, congrats or something. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Thank you. So how far along are you? Two weeks. How do you know you're pregnant after two weeks? My stomach's been growling more than usual, so... And me and him had... Oh, my God. So, <laughs> yeah. I think that's where it came from. How long have you guys been together? Two weeks. Yeah. Oh! We were, like, a one-night yeah. stand. I was finna dip, but I was like, that's my kid. I'm finna stay, so... That's really noble of you. We need more of that. More I know, we need like more you. black fathers. How do you know so. you don't just have cramps? No, I have a kid, too, so this is the second time this has happened. So, the first time you had a kid, you... Felt like yeah, I felt the same sensation I'm feeling now. Okay, and where did the kick come out of? My... Y'all know what's going on, and so do I. That's that kind of obvious, that, right? Yeah, is that funny or something? No, no, you're right. Our kid's gonna be straight A so student funny, and though? gonna be on the basketball team, so. Yeah, the next LeBron James. Slash Yao Ming. That's that kind of obvious, that, right? Yeah, is that funny or something? 
No, no, you're right. Honestly, I'm just super happy for them because this is obviously something that you can never joke about. This is a super, super serious topic and I wish these dads good luck. What country has the best food in the world? I'm gonna have to say England. No, it's not England. That's a good guess though. It's, op it's opinions based. No, there are some stats that actually come out that's... Yeah, yeah it's still opinions based. Some people have more popular opinions than others. So your opinion is England? Yes. Final answer? Mm -hmm. What's good in England? Everything. Give me one. Everything. Popcorn. I don't know where the supposed best food in the world is, but it sure ain't in the UK, bro. I just gotta say it. The food in the UK is like, what is that, man? What is that? Beans? Beans for breakfast, dog? Come on, man. Have you have you heard of seasoning? I gotta say it, bro. I gotta say it, bro. I spent time in England, Scotland, and I gotta say, the food, it's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me. <laughs> it's misery Monday. I'm just a child. I shouldn't be trusted with a job. I don't want to work. I don't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> Misery Monday, I'm a 24 year old child. I should not be trusted with important tasks. At least we can agree on that. Yeah, I got abs. Believe it or not, I do have abs. Nice. So. And the reason I popped my balloon, uh, no disrespect, but I have certain specific type of women that I like. And, and what is that specific type? Uh, more athletic. Okay. Yeah, because health is very important. Mm. So by, by looking at her, I don't think that She's fit enough for me. You wouldn't know what's so bizarre about that is I actually lost 150 pounds. And to the ad, under this shirt, baby, I got abs. Believe it or not, I do have abs. Nice. So. I respect that. Likewise. <laughs> and now, is he somebody that you would approach? No. And why not? Um. Because he rejected Honestly, me. he comes across as very... Judgmental. A little bit uppity or very too much so like i feel like he needs a certain kind of woman that he feel like he needs to have on his arm mm. like one of those petite trophy mm. women who maybe don't say to yeah say to he has standards yeah he has standards so you know i don't think i would mix with him actually and everyone has abs by the way everyone does it's just that for most people there's a layer of in the way you know what i mean a layer of you know the mm -hmm. parenting is hazardous to your health. Wall Street Journal is reporting that our Surgeon General says that parents in particular are under dangerous levels of stress. And they cite a study by the American Psychological Association saying nearly half of parents report overwhelming stress as well as loneliness on most days. I don't disagree. However, the stress that I feel as a mom, the intense stress, does not come from parenting. It comes from our school system being completely destroyed and denigrated. My stress is rooted in the question of where can my kids go to school that their brain isn't going to be dumbed down, that mm. our values are not going to be discarded and abandoned. That's where my stress comes from as a parent. And as for the loneliness, yeah, a lot of us parents do feel lonely because when we're speaking up for right and what's truthful and what's virtuous and good, we are made fun of and told that we're domestic extremists. Am I wrong? So I don't have children yet, but what I do have is a bomb. And growing up, I saw her go through tons of stress. Can parenting be stressful? Absolutely, I can believe that. A hundred percent I can. Does that mean you shouldn't have a family and shouldn't have kids? According to them, probably yeah. No, you shouldn't do this. It's gonna be hard. You wanna, you wanna know what else is hard? Going to the gym, working out, running a business. But what do those things give you? they give you some of the best rewards in life. Feeling healthy, feeling self-sustaining, and I imagine having a family is the exact same thing. Avoiding doing what's difficult doesn't make you a good person. It doesn't make you a strong person. It's the complete opposite, in fact. Difficulty builds people. Stress builds people. These things are not bad. In fact, I would argue the opposite. They are good for you, if your frame of mind going into it is appropriate, because absolutely stress can age you. This is just more propaganda to not have a family. That's what it is. Can you identify as a black person? No. Why? Because I'm not black. I'm not a woman, but I can identify as a woman according to you. If you transition, maybe. What defines a transition? If that's your goal, you know? If you believe it. Sure. If you believe you're black, why aren't you black? Well, that's just not, that's like genetics. That's like ancestry. You're also born a man or a woman. It's the same thing. That's also genetics. Okay, I'm over it. Well, she gave up pretty quick, huh? Don't be afraid to have opinions on this stuff, guys. Really don't. If you are on the side of truth, 
You can be bold. You have truth on your side. Nothing can fight it. I just want to I just want to read you this poster that I have um, because I hear a lot of pro-lifers um, say that life begins at conception. Mm -hmm. So my poster reads, life begins when you understand living women matter more than potential babies. What is it? What do you mean? If it's a potential baby, what is inside of a woman? It's a fetus. Is it living? No. no. How can it grow if it's not living? Actually, actually, that's like saying if an acorn is a tree. When does the fetus become living? Um, that's actually a good question, but that line... Yeah, of course, because you don't know it, because it's oh, living. Oh. It's living. How about you let her speak? You're, 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 you're fundamentally you're denying science to hey, validate you, your opinion. You, you actively, you actively deny science, ma'am. How am I denying... What science did I deny, Darby? Um... Okay, so let's look at some posters over here. But you don't have to be here. I need you to tell me what science, you just made an accusation that I denied science. What science did I deny? That it's a child inside of you. It is a clump of cells when you I'm have a clump of cells. What makes me different? That you were born? You were born. So you, you don't, what you're arguing Damn, dude. is that uh, anything that is not born is not valuable of life. Of I right did not life. say that. It's subjective. It's subjective. So when does, it, when does a child or fetus or clump of cells, whatever you want to call it, when does this clump of cells or fetus become living? When it can sustain its own life. Its own life. But when is, the, when is the sustainability? When it takes back what she just said. No, when is sustainability? Toddlers can't sustain their uh, life. About like 30 <laughs> weeks to born, like Because like what, how do you sustain life? Like my newborns aren't sustainable. Yeah, you can't exactly. just have a newborn and they just like live on their own, right? Right. They're not sustainable. They need help and assistance to survive. So is a newborn not, is, is a newborn not worthy of life? Uh, is a newborn not worthy of life? I do have one thing to say to you. How is it that when my mom was in college 30 years ago, she was protesting the exact same thing that me and these wonderful other women and men on this side have been protesting? How is it, why? Why are we still protesting? Why are we still having to talk about this issue? It is a basic human right to have an abortion, to have a choice. The reason we're still having the question is because some people don't want to accept the natural consequences of heterosexual sex and be inconvenienced by another human life and want to selfishly choose to end human life in order to have their whims met. That is why you're still arguing. College education, everybody. That's what it looks like right there. For a lot of these things, we really just have to start calling it out like it is. These people are anti-human. They are the dehumanists. They want to dehumanize the planet. Haven't you noticed that consistent theme across everyone on that side of things? They want to take away every part of humanity in a way. With all of the T people, the people, the people that have switched sides, what are they actually doing? They are getting rid of parts of themselves that will hold them back from procreating in the future. Girls like this one are obviously advocating against the creation of life. That's just two examples, but that's exactly what it is. It is an anti-human agenda. Michael, do you know what the leading cause of death for pregnant people is? Pregnant people? Mm-hmm. Mothers? Women? If you'd like to call them mothers, not all of them are mothers, but if you'd like to call them that. What are they if they're not mothers? They're pregnant people. What, what people other than mothers are pregnant? Does it bother you to use inclusive language? Well, it's just I, interesting I, I prefer to use precise language. It's interesting because <laughs> you come into this conversation, you know, trying to hold this moral superiority, but then when I... No, I, when I, I try I use, to be moral when I can, but I... Right, but when I use inclusive language, which it only takes a couple extra syllables to use inclusive language. To include and who? It seems to include people who don't, you know, identify as women, but can become pregnant. So, like a person who's born a woman, and then identifies as a man mm -hmm. and is pregnant. Yeah. So you're telling me that in order to be a moral person, I need to accept the idea that a man, someone who is born a man and looks like a man, 
can really become a woman. That's that's a, a prerequisite of mine, being a moral. Okay, is it okay if I touch you? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, if I touch you. Go right ahead. Before we get started, do you mind if I touch you? I also gonna cut my hair. Do you mind if I touch you? Are you serious, bro? I just cut my hair. Is it cool if I touch you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. It's usually just customary that I ask the person before I touch them. Just cut it, cuz. And what were your pronouns? Uh, she, they. She, they, too. Yay! Look at us. We're twins. He, him. She, her. And what are your pronouns? Are you serious, bro? Just cut my hair. What are your pronouns? They, them. She, they. I'm yes. glad we exchanged those. Yes. And what are your pronouns? Listen, bro, I don't do that. Bro, don't to touch me. Don't. I'm out of here. Don't want any. Ma'am, don't steal the sign. You can't steal the sign. You're on camera stealing a sign. Sam! Officer, she's stealing a sign. You're not going anywhere. Right now you're being detained, okay? Detained for what? Uh, larceny? You stole his sign. He has it back. Okay, yeah, I because I got it. it from you. I moved it 50 yards. I don't care if you moved it one foot. You don't have a right to take someone's property, okay? Period. I don't care what the circumstance is. You don't have a right to take anyone's property. He was holding it, therefore it was his, and you took it, okay? I know you may not agree with what's being said, but you don't have a right to take someone's property, period, okay? Children. Wants it, someone wants it. What? You're under arrest for one. I, you I... Did, you admitted to taking it. Well, all I did was I just walked it over here. I was going to give it back okay, to him. I'm a little trans girl, small and cute. These are my pigtails, yes, they're real. I get all steamed up, I can pout. That tip me over part sounds kind of inappropriate, though. So I'm gonna stop the song there and keep it kid friendly for all my young followers out there. Stay proud, stay beautiful, and stay kind. Bye. Oh, yeah, that's it, bro. That's. Yep, no more video. No more no more video. Video over, video done. This is This is haram. This is haram. This is brother ooh. Brother ooh. What is that? I have lost brain cells due to this video. Every subscribe gives me plus 1 brain cell. Hit the like button, subscribe and I'll bye. Brother ooh. What's that?